giving the clients the opportunity to sail their house. We often say sail it like a boat, so open the windows, let in the prevailing winds at the right times. Giving the clients that opportunity to tune the house to the environment is really important and a really good way to ensure that the, the house can be sustainable, not just from the way it's built or from the size or from active things like solar panels, but from the way you actually live in the house. Brunswick's a very well-known suburb in Melbourne and quite popular amongst young families. It's on quite a busy road to the front. Single-storey houses either side. Got a north-south running site with the rear facing the north, which is obviously ideal. The existing house is a Victorian weatherboard from the early 1900s. It had an addition which seemed to be around the 70s, 80s. It was really poorly lit and poorly orientated and the kitchen just wasn't really working for the families. Pat and Tarrant being a young family, they just had their first child. They wanted to start creating a family home. They wanted to accommodate themselves and potentially a couple of kids. They're big entertainers always having friends around. Pat's a great cook. They just wanted to be able to have friends around, enjoy everyone congregating around the kitchen, around the dining table, and around the rear. Those things weren't really achievable in their old house. You enter the house, there's a long hallway with three bedrooms off it. The third bedroom, which is the master bedroom, and we put in a new built-in robe running the width of the room, as well as an ensuite, which has a toilet, shower, and vanity. There's a powder room to the left with a toilet and vanity, and to the right, there's the family bathroom with shower, bath, and a relatively small laundry tucked in behind a sliding door step down a couple of steps and come into living, dining and kitchen. We packed joinery all along the perimeters. Pat and Taryn early on said they were really interested in having a bit of colour, having a playful interior. But then by the same token, they said they didn't want it to be over the top. They wanted some restraint and they wanted it to feel natural. We've got concrete floor and then that has a perimeter of recycled pressed red bricks. There's white painted brick for the walls and timber windows. Then moving on to the joinery, it's a green laminate. We chose this green for its muted nature. We've also got thick ash veneer on the cupboards and island bench. It's a locally sourced veneer, which is budget friendly. Then the stone that we've used for the bench tops here is Carrara. In all the bathrooms and wet areas, we've got even more personality and playfulness. We ran Pat and Taryn through a few different tile options from companies which we knew were cost effective and basically ran with two ranges and picked colours that would be complementary from those two ranges. From a sustainable architecture perspective, the house was built to work passively, so we wanted to try and avoid the use of air conditioning. The extension has a lot of thermal mass being in the concrete slab and the brick walls. High glazing here is operable, so in concert with the ceiling fans you can open up windows up high and draw the cool air up and through the house to cool the house down. The house is orientated to the north and the north facing glazing is shaded with a small eave. This is a family home that's not enormous, particularly by Australian standards, and by creating a home which a family can live in for an extended amount of time that is not huge, that's inherently sustainable.
Patton Tarrant's house is modest but playful. It's robust. It's light filled and textured. It's a space for a family. It's a space that they can knock around, but it's also a space that elevates the mundane and really provides that perfect background for family life.